Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Opus Experimental TV show. We're talking uh, tonight about Ken Gusk, who's uh, performing at um, Fotografiska Foltronica Showcase at Tallinn Music Week on Thursday, 28th of August. So, would you please uh, do the introduction about Ken? Yeah, uh, my pleasure. Ken is a really cool guy. Uh, I met him a few years ago. Can't really remember the first time, but I remember the second time when we called him to come and play uh, at the event we were uh, curating. Mm -hmm. And I'm super happy that we were able to uh, call him again mm -hmm. to invite uh, him to Telemusic Week, the Folktronic stage. Mm -hmm. And he's a, like, um, well, he's a vinyl player, he's a DJ. Mm -hmm. And he's coming with his um, bag of uh, selected choices, music pieces the, around the, the world. The best music yeah. around the world that he has been able to find in the last uh, couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, by the way, uh, the reason why we're talking about him and yeah. he's not here at the moment is because uh, he's, he's, li yeah. he's living abroad and... Uh, we're having really bad. Um, well, he's not in the best uh, internet connection to uh, get the area, video call. Yeah. yeah. So but, uh, he, we asked some really, uh, well, we thought are really good questions, uh, but he answered even better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. maybe the first thing that we are asking, not not the first, but we are asking from all the interviews and also from us, mm -hmm. like what is folktronic and what does it mean to you? And Ken uh, had a really nice answer that was actually giving some really good perspective for myself. So, um, what is Folktronica? And he answered. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so uh, when it comes to the term or the word for mm -hmm. Folktronica itself, then Ken said that uh, in, in his world or in his mind, uh, the term is actually quite new. But when he thinks about it a bit more, then all of a sudden he has like this uh, relation to the 80s, um, like uh, coastal African music. And when synths uh, became like this um, mass used instrument in music production. Mm -hmm. So he sees like this 80s uh, synth and uh, African coastal music uh, together as as Folktronica or the, the beginning in a way of uh, Folktronica. But nowadays, uh, since we have a lot of um, traditional music or, or folk music used in in all sorts of uh, like sub genres and actually folk music in itself also is uh, basically always amplified, then uh, people are using the, the electronics uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, you could say that Folktronica is all the music there yeah. is. Yeah, that and this was really mind blowing for me. Like, yeah. uh, okay, because because we've been it's, thinking it's that because yeah. we've been thinking that okay, most of the the rhythms actually yeah, well, come they from are, the they are from Africa. From Africa, so yeah. you would say that all of the music has its origin yeah, from roots. there. Yeah. The roots. Yeah. So. So uh, yeah. the second question was like, okay, can uh, can. What's the plan for you for Folktronic and what would you like to play there? Well, mm -hmm. um, he said he's going to bring some uh, r some really cool tracks that he's been uh, discovering or cor yeah, collecting. Yeah, during or? the past few years mm -hmm. and uh, different uh, regions of the world. Mm -hmm. And he's br bringing uh, old and new stuff, mm -hmm. which is really inspired yeah. and playing those uh, tracks for us. And But you could say that he's not really defining himself through Folktronica. Mm -hmm. it, it might sound a bit of a cliche that I'm not really, you know, defining myself through one specific genre. But uh, when I've seen him play, then he's, I would say he's like really playful and yeah. open yeah. and and in that sense he's uh, you know getting his in inspiration from the people who are on the dance floor or um, or the surroundings or the you know the venue where he's at so uh, whatever he plays when I've seen him play it's it's like really interesting and you get a lot of those aha moments mm. that you know 
Okay, I. And I've, he's not uh, like a regular. Let's dance and you know proper. Dun, dun, dun. He's more into you know finding some really rare tracks from around the world, mm -hmm. uh, which are maybe let's say Amazonian choir or some kind of forest sounds with combined African rhythm, and you can mm -hmm. really well the the phrase he's using it's like a cl glitch glitch music, but it's not like a really no. Cliche. Oh, cliche. I, yeah. I was reading it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like um, he's really uh, trying to uh, find those boundaries where music, well, where does music uh, start or stop, you know? Mm -hmm. As long as it works. Yeah. yeah. And, well, I'm really interested. I don't know what about you. 40 minutes for DJ is really short time. Yeah. So I think it's going to be, well, you need, really need to be there on point to yep. catch all the, all the music. Mm -hmm. So, um, how could we end up now from this part? Which I we... think we can say like uh, some of the uh, some background. Oh yeah, because uh, uh, Ken is um, Estonian from Estonia. Yeah. Well, uh, Estonian, but he's ha he has been living abroad, uh, like all over Europe, and I think he was living like Greenland or Iceland last year. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, he's like uh, has been like yeah, living all 12 over. Twelve years abroad, but ten years of a vinyl playing. Yeah. So I and he's been really connected with like different sub uh, cultures and sub genres mm. uh, all over the Europe. Like uh, living in Berlin, for instance, and I think it has the traveling and living abroad. I would say has really influenced him, and it. Usually, this kind of influence is really in a good way. Yeah, and he brings out actually that, uh, and lately he has been more and more getting out of the traditional uh, dance music from the DJ set mm -hmm. and more into like a music styles that bring a vari like variation, for, like to be like the opposite of the dance music. So he's really experimenting. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm I'm really eager to to see what yeah, he me too. has in mind. Hope so. that you are too. Yep. So book the date twenty eighth of August at eight o'clock. He starts to play at Photographiska. Mm -hmm. Tallinn Music Week. So see you there. Yeah, stage Folktronica. And yep. this was Opus Experimental TV. Dun dun dun. <laughs>